Hello and welcome to my podcast on Pentecost Sunday. Pentecost is one of the main, main, most important feasts of the church. The Holy Spirit, we read, descends upon the Apostles and Our Lady in a room. Holy Spirit is no respecter of social distancing. Holy Spirit came upon the Apostles and it took on the form of fiery tongues, a symbol of cleansing, and also a wind which blew through the room. And wind is a symbol of breath, of new life, of living. So we have this idea of cleansing and new life new creation, a renewal of humanity. Also, it marks the completion of the Paschal Mystery. Things, as I've said, start afresh. New life has been breathed into God's creation. Pentecost, then, both an end and a beginning. An end in that it is a completion of Christ's saving work because it brings the risen Christ into the hearts of all who look to him and breathes forgiveness into our whole being, so making what Christ has done for us on the cross something now done within each and every one of us. Thus, a new beginning. The end of the Paschal Mystery is new life, the life of the Church, the Christian life of forgiveness, the sacraments and the unity and reconciliation in Christ of every tribe, tongue, people and nation. Our individual lives too are in many ways a sequence of new beginnings and endings. When we graduate from school or college, something has come to an end and something new starts. Our adult life, work, career. Again, when we change job, that also marks a change. We lay lay aside one way of living, one set of skills, and learn another. When we get married, a major, major change there. When we become a parent, an equally big change in our lives. And when we retire as well. Endless beginnings, endless change. Each time something is completed, each time we start something new. All these changes, be they small, be they momentous, are in their own way mini Pentecosts. And so it is good for us in those times to especially pray for God's blessing through the Holy Spirit. In these days of lockdown, it is also important for us to remember that our faith is just as powerful in our domestic lives as it is in our public church lives. So many of the blessings of Pentecost drop down upon our individual and families and homes. Although this is a Pentecost different from any other, I or indeed probably any one of you have experienced, nevertheless, the Holy Spirit Pentecostal joy, if you like, has no respect for lockdowns. Now, as it didn't have a respect for lockdowns to begin with, or indeed social distancing. Be warned then, the Holy Spirit can meet you in your gardens, in your homes, and above all, in your hearts. So have a truly blessed Pentecost. Thank you. Goodbye and God bless.